Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Today we're going to talk about setting up a simple timesheet in Excel. I have a spreadsheet here where we have a start time and an end time, and I'm careful to actually enter these as real time. So if I work till 1130, I'm going to enter 11 30, and we're good to go. If for some reason I would work till the afternoon, 1 colon 00 p.m. to put in an afternoon time. And so we have the timesheet here. Over in column D is a simple formula, C2 minus B2, figures that I work three and a half hours that day. It works pretty well. We go down to the bottom, we want to enter a total hours for the week so we can send it into payroll. We use the auto sum button and it puts in a sum for us, 19 hours and 30 minutes. That looks pretty good. But now here's the thing that gets everyone. You know, let's say that we're working a full-time job and we work until 5 p.m. each day, control enter to enter all of those. I worked a whole week and it says I only worked five hours. What's going on? Well, it turns out that in Excel, when it has times, it only wants to show you the time portion, not the day portion. So 53 hours really is two days and five hours. And what Excel is showing us here is just the time portion. It's leaving off the fact that we worked two days worth of work. To fix this, we have to go into Format Cells. And instead of a time category, we want to choose a custom category and basically edit their time category to add square brackets around the H. The square brackets around the H force Excel to show us just the hours and we get the real answer of 53. There you have it. When you're setting up a timesheet, you have to use the arcane square bracket around the H trick in the format cells dialog. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.